the 60-40 stock bond split. This is one of those holy grails that it's been out there for, I don't know, 50 or 60 years. Uh, it goes back to a lot of portfolio theory ideas a long time ago. But a lot of people in the last few years have been questioning this, including myself, about do we really need to have that kind of split, given that people retire at pick a number 65 and they may live another 20 or 25 years, could they stand a little more uh, exposure to stocks than, than, than 60-40? Is, is the 60-40 stock split uh, outdated or not? John, I'll, I'll start with you and, and, of course, Dave, you weigh in afterwards as well. well thanks for that, Bob. I, I don't know if 60-40 is a magic number. I think the idea of a diversified portfolio, an investor who's calculating things like their wealth, their risk tolerance, their time horizon, I do think there's still a value to a diversified portfolio where asset returns may offset one another, creating a more efficient portfolio. And true uh, expected returns, because of low bond yields, are not as high as they once were. We've been through a 40-year secular decline in rate. But equity valuations are also high. And so I still think that the benefits of diversification, and now with rates having, you know, in some sectors moved up 100 basis points or so from the beginning of the year, needs a little more of a yield cushion. I think the diversified portfolio is still a very valid concept. Yeah. Dave, I agree with the diversified portfolio concept. I'm not I'm still not entirely sold on on, on sixty forty, but where do you where do you stand on this? <laughs> yeah, I think what I would what I would encourage investors to do is to think about diversification more broadly. I think, you know, it, rules of thumb often lead us down bad paths. Uh, 60 40 is probably the correct allocation for exactly nobody. And if you look at what investors have actually done in terms of flows, overwhelmingly it's showing up in the larger end of the cap spectrum in the United States. So we're, we're actually, as a society, increasing our lack of diversification, if you will, by going more and more into large cap U.S. I think most investors would probably do a good job if they've looked at their portfolio, figured out if they've actually addressed their home biases, figured out if they actually believe in their portfolio, whether it's the stock end or the, the bond end. And start from those yeah. first rooms, because I think you'll find most investors are pretty barbell at this point. Yeah, I think the answer is it very much depends on your risk tolerance and your age. If you're 30 years old, a 60-40 bond split makes – stocks to bond split makes zero sense at all, at least to me. If you're 65 and you believe you're going to live another 20 years – I think, and you're comfortable with some risk, given the long-term returns of stocks in general over 20-year periods, rolling 20-year periods, I probably would be a little more comfortable with something slightly higher than 60-40. If you're 85, uh, obviously 60-40 is a bit on the aggressive side, so that's certainly understandable. So there's a lot of, uh, a lot of factors, but tolerance uh, and age, I think, are the most important thing. 